thank you guys for tuning in welcome back and welcome to lose world so today's video is about finally i'm sorry guys <laughs> it's about my lock journey i'm just now entering the month of my lock anniversary it's not officially my lock anniversary yet but in the next three four in the next 12 days on the 16th <laughs> is when I rekindled. I would say rekindled because if y'all already knew, I had locks before. And and actually I lost a couple of inches off this lock. And I'm definitely gonna dive into that story today. So please guys go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you are interested in hearing my tale of why locks are important, what made me cut them off, um, things to do, tips to keeping your locks healthy and growing, and for what's to come in the future. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and dive into it. So almost a year with my babies. I can't lie to you, I'm probably like 100 plus, 100 plus locks. My last locks were about 84 these i absolutely love like i love how many i have i love the thickness and just like i love the look like i love it i love it very much i am so i made a video said i'm never palm rolling ever again because i said i was gonna free form i changed my mind and i'm not gonna get free form i'm not palm rolling but i will be in there locking my locks and there's a lot of good benefits with interlocking your locks. You can wash your hair every day. You don't have to wait so long to get them washed again. And then the one thing I didn't like when I used to palm roll, it would come on loose a lot of times. <laughs> and it was very agitating and irritating. But when I had my first set of locks, I began interlocking. I didn't want that back then but I understand now why it was so important to start that way. But over time, like with my first set of locks, so number one, the main reason why I let it go, because I retwit, like I palm rolled the shit <laughs> out of my first set of locks to the point my edges were so thin and it was so out of proportion, it just did not look good on me anymore. And like I would have some just like uber thick, like I would say like this and a half. Like I would have some this length, this length, this length and a half. Like it looked crazy. And I was just like, I ruined my locks. That was one reason why I had to let them go. Number two was I did not normally cleanse my locks. So here I completely get it now. So I met this woman, her locks were literally down her back and they were so gorgeous that was my first time um actually meeting yeah meeting someone like that face to face i don't know that was kind of strange but like of course like you see people on tv but like in person face to face you get what i'm saying like am i tripping you get what i'm saying <laughs> and she was just like yes the first year is so hard because of the um because of the shrinkage what i'm realizing <laughs> is that all that shrinkage that I was experiencing in my first set of locks was literally energy that was literally just like consuming my locks and my locks were shrinking and shrinking and shrinking so my hair my first set of locks my hair came right here past my collarbone and once I was working people were having nasty attitudes feeling entitled to whatever bullshit they were on that day blah 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 I would always come home stressed out sad and it's like damn i really gotta go back to this place tomorrow then the next day then the next day and i remember my hair just like <laughs> my hair became like this length and it was just so crazy but once i started getting used to staging my locks i saw my locks like flourishing i was just like wow okay i get it now and then even more like just along the way every time like my locks look dry or just out of like i felt out of whack of course i would always sage my locks so be sure to cleanse your locks number three i did not wash my hair 
properly um I would wash my hair very often but I never scrubbed the shampoo completely out and it left a horrible stench for a very long time in my locks so yeah please be sure <laughs> to detox your locks uh, it's a lot more benefits to detoxing your locks um i've seen a lot of videos there's so many videos out there is the world is yours okay please do your research but got apple cider vinegar lemons oranges pink salt baking soda on your locks just to get all the gunk out let them sit rinse them off put oil in and go on about your day that's literally i met another lady her locks look so gorgeous she said i don't wash my locks she eats well she said i eat well i drink my water i'm doing what i was supposed to do and she just looks so elegant y'all i couldn't tell her shit <laughs> for real like she was so sweet though but she says she detoxes her locks twice a year and then that's it like her locks look so gorgeous so please detox your locks and do your research of what products work best for you a lot of products even like shea moistures have a lot of glycerin in it and that can make your locks shrink and cause dryness and other sometimes even other products that have like coloring inside of them can throw your locks off too even like it's a lot of deep research of how it can affect your brain as well so just do your research <laughs> do 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 your research even in ingesting coloring foods like take care of yourself so number four or was that number five four four or five four or five i'm sorry eat well like eat greens vegetables a lot of protein so i don't eat meat and on this fitness journey because of where i know where i need to be my coach is saying you have to eat this amount so i'm like okay so once i started eating a lot more grains seeds vegetables i'm bulking up and this is exactly what i need and i don't it's very interesting too sorry side note i've done my research <laughs> and the only thing i like is creatine but and you can get creatine from meat only i know they have it in powders but it's like where are you really getting these powders from I'm, I'm gonna leave that for another another day <laughs> what i am saying to y'all like when you eat well your locks are going to sling slang and do its own thing so y'all please get your macronutrients and your micronutrients and please drink a lot of water cleanse the inside and cleanse the outside and what else can i say silk silk scarves will save your life although these are short yes these are short I this is the main reason why I lost I lost about this amount of inches off my locks because having my scarf on it was just rubbing against all sorts of materials laying on the couch and just rubbing 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 and it fell off and I was just so devastated although I could once I get my interlocking tools I could put it back on but at the same time maybe it's just a reason just to let mm, might be a little you know since this was from my last set probably some old stuff up in there it's like you know let it go so just let it be it's the best decision of your life don't feel so discouraged um i hate the word ugly stage i don't if you're so focused on the ugly stage it seems like you're not committed to locks i don't know I just don't like that. I don't like that. You should not feel insecure about yourself. You shouldn't. You are the most beautiful, handsome, gorgeous person in this whole world. And nobody can tell you different. Don't allow outside forces to make inside influences. Like you are powerful and make the best decisions for you. And when you do, you're going to flourish automatically because you know it. It's your knowing. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything works out in your best ability. And one thing I will say, please be careful who you allow to touch your locks. Let me say that again. Please be careful who you allow to touch your locks. I did not appreciate a couple of words that would say why my locks were being touched. 
or people walking up like oh my gosh didn't all right back up <laughs> you know and that made me feel like made me feel like shit but I allowed it to make me feel like that and now it's just like back up <laughs> so these set of locks I have not let anybody touch them and that's why I was for I was on the fence for a long time because I'm like interlocking I've never done it before but watching these videos I'm gonna figure it out and then I do have my good friend but she moved away but she gonna but I'm gonna see her in a few <laughs> so she can give me some tips too but a couple of my locks have thinned pretty it, it thinned I'm not really too sad about it because I'm able to make it possible so I'm gonna handle it and it is what it is like I'm not too upset about it um if you have seen a couple of my videos I've done the rubber band look and this is why it thinned out a lot of my locks have thinned out pretty crazy crazily because of the rubber band look so be careful if hairstyles are too tight or certain materials that's gonna thin your hair out and also dyes be careful of certain strong bleaching dyes just over and over again yeah i dyed these not too long ago but like my pink is starting to peek out and even though i said i was gonna dye them again <laughs> don't judge me quit judge me <laughs> like when i tell you i've been on the color spectrum of all sorts of dyes i have <laughs> except blue i haven't done blue i want to but we'll come back to it but guys just take care of your hair love your hair the way it is love the journey is everything's all part of the journey so you live and you learn even though like people say don't do this don't do that just do it <laughs> if you're not gonna listen <laughs> you're gonna learn regardless it's okay make mistakes it is what it is so i'm gonna give y'all a quick a quick 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 um of why i got my locks and just a little bit more background story so i got locks because i felt like i was meant to have locks i don't know what it was but just watching everybody men women kids like their hair is just so freaking cute and i was just like you know what i hit my early 20s and i said i'm getting locks don't care everybody was talking so much shit <laughs> everybody was talking mad shit but i got my locks and it was what it was like it wasn't until like maybe i was six months in a couple of people were like oh you got locks i'm like yeah i got my locks <laughs> and it's a, it is what it is and like you see a lot of different things in this world when you just commit just commit f it <laughs> i did it what's up <laughs> and also do i regret it no I went from my hair was always been I always had a lot of my hair I always had a lot of hair I just never knew how to take care of, took care of it at an early age my issue was getting I never had a perm either never had a perm before but straightening my hair then learning how to do my own hair my hands started cramping up when I got a little bit older and so it's just like why am i you know it's so much stress it's so much struggle and it's just like here i can just wake up put water in my hair and just go oil at night and love what my process is like i love every part of my hair i love it i love it i love it well i recommend people get it yeah of course <laughs> of course locks are great locks are fun and um just don't be don't feel embarrassed about the journey you know every journey is not every journey is not a race every journey should not be compared is personal every journey is personal so you make you make your journey what it's supposed to be what it's supposed to feel like to you you know don't ever compare whatever journey you take up on don't ever compare it to nobody's journey okay you better not <laughs> yeah i'm a year in <laughs> do i miss my old locks sometimes you know i look back at it and i was like oh dang my locks would have been long like i've been looking at as like women walk by i was like dang my locks would have been long too i would have been four years you know? and then you know it is what it is but about i'm here <laughs> you know i don't i kind of got a lot of negative talk when i cut my locks too i was just like you know what 
fuck y'all i can't <laughs> i'm not pleasing y'all i'm doing this for me because once i cut them i felt even more free i never had a big chop so me experiencing that was an amazing experience i loved it i loved it i you know sometimes i wore scarves sometimes i didn't i just let my hair be my hair but i styled it i had a little slit back a couple of times you know <laughs> and it was fun like i just enjoyed me being me that's all you can do i'm trying to think what else um alafia is a good product to use i'm gonna put like a little picture i love alafia i love taraji b henson brand too she has some good shampoo really really good shampoo um grapeseed oil is probably like my favorite to use coconut oil too but grapeseed oil is my favorite um for more moisture tips like if you're if your hair ever gets dry just put oil on sleep with a shower cap on and it does wonders it's called the greenhouse effect i like that a lot but i would literally like massage it in like bend over massage massage get everything all heated up then put your shower cap on put your scarf on go to sleep <laughs> i used to i did that for a week my hair like phew. so my hair took off for real for real <laughs> so yeah try it out do your research that's all i can say but yeah that is Look, look, that's our time that ain't ain't really nothing <laughs> that is our time if y'all guys have any questions please inbox me comment underneath below if y'all wanted any more tips like what else like i'm here what's up <laughs> i'm so glad to be back on here so y'all can watch me um, thank y'all so much i want to cry that is the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed it and please stay tuned so i'm gonna make this part one i guess but to part two so in a couple of days i am going to record me interlocking my hair Ooh, is we gonna we gonna figure it out <laughs> I'm gonna do my damnest, a bestest, so I'm gonna figure it out. But yes, please hit that like and subscribe button again. Follow me on Instagram at sun.scorch, also at startwithme underscore. Y'all have a fantastic day, week, month. Continue to thrive and do your damn best. Be you always. Love y'all. Be safe out here in these streets. <laughs> See y'all.